Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now August 11th of 2021. I hope everyone out there is having a fantastic summer as we get closer, of course, to the very end of the Bad Batch episode 16. That's going to be the finale before we move on to the Book of Boba Fett by this December. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars material. Also, if you guys would like to go ahead and check me out at Mike Zero One on Twitter, you guys can go ahead and do so if you would like to. Now, we're currently in a very interesting phase with Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni working on a handful of shows and other projects that's going to introduce new lore to the franchise that's really going to evolve everything moving forward. Of course, we have George Lucas helping out on the side, really kind of calling the shots and introducing all these new ideas and concepts. Meanwhile, Kathleen Kennedy is, yes, still working on the Acolyte TV series with Leslie Headland, which I've said this time and time again, I don't believe that that show is going to be a success because of what Leslie Headland had to say a couple of weeks ago. We'll get into that a little bit later. Now, when we go ahead and focus on what John and Dave are trying to do, what they're ultimately trying to do is, well, bringing back Legends from the 90s and the 2000s. So, Legends is a very important thing with a lot of Star Wars fans out there because these stories are actually driven by the approval of George Lucas and exactly what he wanted to explore when it came to the new books and the comics at the time after, of course, the original trilogy came out in the 80s. So when we go ahead and see everything related to Star Wars as a whole, everything related to what's happening with Disney and Lucasfilm and what's happening with Disney CEO Bob Chapek really trying to rebuild the franchise from the ground up by using some of these beloved characters like Ahsoka, Luke, and others. So, with that being said, of course, what's really exciting about all of this involves some of the fan favorite characters. So now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars films and TV shows that will become a part of this new universe, it's best described that currently creator Jon Favreau is getting ready to work on a major episode for the Ahsoka Tano series with partner Dave Filoni that is set to give the fans an exciting addition to the story of the show. However, it's noted that both John and Dave are planning a major scene for the series that is set to involve characters Mara Jade, Luke Skywalker, and even Ahsoka Tano to have a full-blown scene together on a familiar Star Wars world to battle the remnants of the Empire. So, obviously, they're trying to drive from, of course, introducing a lot of the older characters that a lot of people were aware of many years ago. Moving on. So, it's best laid out that both Luke, Mara, and Tana will band together and eventually split apart on the world of Mustafar, uh, of course, for Ahsoka Tano being the lead character in the series. This is going to be a major deal, because obviously Rosario Dawson, she's very much invested in getting this character done correctly and really trying to get things done right. Now, Favreau is set to actually give fans a completely different take on Mustafar with the castle of Darth Vader returning, as well as the growth of trees and other forms of life on the planet that is going to be semi-burning for the sequence, very similar to what J.J. Abrams actually explored in the Rise of Skywalker's opening sequence. Now, this scene is set to take place within the later episodes of the show that is currently written, and that set designs for the scenes are already being planned out for Karen Gillan, Rosario Dawson, and the addition of Luke Skywalker. Not just that, however, but somehow it's said that Sabine Wren will have a big moment in this scene that will be considered unexpected to the fandom. Now, these beloved characters are set to take on an unknown clan, that protects Vader's castle to discover hidden Sith artifacts as a way to discover other hidden vaults of Emperor Palpatine. The Ahsoka series is set to actually also have the tone of Pirates of the Caribbean movies, with our heroes going on quests and discovering lore and valuable information, while other tones for the show will dive into the netherworld, Realm of Mortis, and even the worlds between worlds that will give fans new lore about the Force and the Wills, who are godlike creatures developed by George Lucas. Now, the show is best described to have a high budget, giving it a feature film-like tone, so that it will feel big to the audience and not small scale, however. So, here's the thing that I think a lot of fans need to know, that is going very much unrecognized right now, is that Jon Favreau is indeed a major player in the Ahsoka series. I know a lot of people out there don't know that fully, but he is very much involved with that show. 
Dave Filoni, of course, is the main guy working on it, but he's got Jon Favreau really helping out big time. Now, this goes to show us that they have their hands tied. They have a lot of things going on between Mandalorian Season 3, which, by the way, is not filming yet. It's going to be filming in the near future. It's getting closer to that stage, but it's getting there. They're also working on, of course, the post-production of The Book of Boba Fett, and now they're moving on to Ahsoka Tano. They're also somewhat connected to the Kenobi series, calling the shots on some of the story elements and exactly how that's going to connect to future Star Wars television shows on Disney+. Plus. So, the thing about the addition to Luke, Mara, Ahsoka teaming up to take on this unknown clan that is going to be based on the world of Mustafar, protecting Sith artifacts of Darth Vader kind of low-key reminds you of what Kylo Ren went through in Episode 9, fighting those cultists, if you will, protecting the castle in order to get a lot of information as to the location of Exegol. Very similar scenario, and it seems like that Jon Favreau is trying to do something better than what J.J. Abrams tried to do in Episode 9. That's at least how I'm taking it, is that Jon Favreau is kind of taking some of the key pieces from Episode 9 and kind of flipping it around and doing something all the more exciting. In fact, a lot of people that went to go ahead and see Episode 9, they really never knew that that was Mustafar in the very beginning of the movie with Kylo Ren in the woods. So, when we go ahead and also examine the major part about all of this, is that Sabine Wren, all right, one of the major characters in Star Wars, is going to have a major sequence in the Ahsoka series. Multiple sequences, I must add, but she will be a part of this particular moment on Mustafar. Exactly how, we're not quite sure yet, but she will have a major position in calling some of the shots on exactly what the characters are going to do. Now, obviously, when we go ahead and examine everything related to Disney Star Wars, all right? They really are desperate at this point to get things correct, to make the lore as close as possible to Legends, and kind of mixing it with the new, right? You can see that they're trying to low-key kind of play off of the Avengers with some of the major heroes banding together and teaming up and taking on a greater foe. We can see what they're doing now. Uh, obviously, the tone for the Ahsoka series is going to have a very similar tone to Pirates of the Caribbean. So, I don't know if you guys have ever seen those films by Disney. If you haven't, go ahead and check them out. It'll give you a little bit of an idea of what the Ahsoka Tano series and its tone is going to be like. Not sure if that's something that you guys are actually going to like, but that's what they're aiming for as of right now. So, like I said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.